okay so here we have just seen that none of the variables are significant because of the problem of multi collinearity that we can see from here right here the vif the value of vif here is the value of v vif has been sorry the value of vif has been uh, has been more than 10 and uh, or the tolerance tolerance has been uh, less than 0 uh, less than uh, 0 0.2 so as a result you see tolerance less than 0 0.2 and VIF is more than 10 as a result this model is suffering from problem of multi collinearity and as a result none of the variables you can see none of the variables has become significant all become insignificant because of the problem of multi collinearity okay now how to how to remove the multi collinearity number one approach increasing the sample size that is one approach number second approach is the just one minute transformation of variable and number three approach removing variables right there are three approach we can remove the multi collinearity first I try with the first approach increasing the sample size then uh, then uh, uh, then I shall try the second approach that is a uh, transformation of variable and the third approach would be removing the variables but that is the last option normally this option is not desirable that means number three option is not desirable to remove the problem of multi collinearity why suppose x5 x6 x7 right these three has higher vif higher vif right so suppose i remove x6 x6 because it has very big VIF but the problem is that if I remove the X6 to estimate the model to to remove the problem of multi collinearity that is not desirable why because maybe X6 is very important variable to explain our dependent variable which is y or suppose I remove x7 but x7 may be a important variable to explain y or I remove x5 then I estimate the model but that is may not be desirable why because probably x5 is a very important independent variable to explain our dependent variable that is why so so the third third option that is removing variable that I shall be doing when there is no other option when there is a no other choice but first I try with the first option increasing the sample size okay last time our sample size was how much it was 10 so I shall increase the sample size 
to 38. Then I shall run the model and I check whether multicollinearity has been removed or not. Okay. So first I check our data. Our data was something like that last time. You can see our data was until 10, right? Data was uh, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. So it was until 10, right? It was 10. Okay, now I increase the sample size to 38. That means I take more data, not variable. I say you just in increase the sample size of each variable. Suppose I take 38. You see from here? Until 38. Right? I take it until 38. I take it until 38. Then what happens? So last time I, I, I had 10. Now last time uh, I had until this. From 1 to 10. Now I increase it to 38. Then what happens? Okay, I run this model now. Right. I run this model and check what happens. Okay, I run the model. Okay, I run the model. So I go to analyze regression. Then I choose linear, right? As before. Linear. Then this is our model. I can make it zoom for you. You can see the zoom, right? So this is our things. Our dependent variable is here. And these are all independent variable, right? And this is our statistics, right? Everything is here, right? So our dip independent variables are all this. X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, X7. <coughs> so I can run the model now. I click, okay, okay. First I check statistics, right? I check it. Estimate, model fit, and collinearity diagnostic. I can make it zoom for you. Estimate, model fit, collinear diagnostic. You can see all, right? Okay, then I continue. Then I press OK. <coughs> Excuse me. So the model has been estimated, right? This is the outcome. So this is the model summary. I make it big for you. So I make it 16. Okay, you can see the things, right? The model summary. Here R square is quite big 78.1 percent nicely fitted the model is nicely fitted because 78.1 percent so we are happy about it right very good fitted 78.1 percent okay now i check how many variables are significant and we check whether multicollinearity is there or not we check we go there so this is our coefficient estimate i make it big so that you can see better i make it cell properties i make it 16 right okay okay now you can see better right Okay, here, uh, 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 what is ha happening? You can see from here. Sorry. Here, you can see that uh, this is our model, right? Here, the value of VIF all gone down. Last time, here was very high VIF. And the tolerance all gone up. 
tolerance all gone up okay I can write it down for you I just write here so when the VIF is less than 10 or tolerance is less than 0 0.2 meaning that it is called free from multicollinearity right nearity so here you can see BIF is all less than 10 and uh, and the uh, sorry, mistake tolerance should be greater than not smaller than greater than 0 0.2 and that you can see from here tolerance is greater than 2 so this model is free from multicollinearity right and now as a result many variables have become significant such as x2 this one this various it is less than 5 percent meaning that x2 becomes significant okay what about this one it is 1.8 percent which is less than 5 percent that is x4 x4 ha has become significant what about this one 3.8 percent that is x6 x6 has become significant so three variables have become significant after removing the multicolia nidity from this model so now three variables are significant and and last time all variables were were insignificant now three have been significant because we have removed the multicollinearity by increasing the sample size so we are happy about the model thank you very much for being with me for a while So if that terms of uses you can check. Sorry.